Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis, and today is another tutorial about how to mix a 808 kick and an 808 bass. In my previous tutorial video, I talked about how to EQ um, 808 kick and 808 bass to make them fit together. Although those EQ settings do apply, we're actually going to take this on a different angle and zone in on frequencies that may be a bit too heavy in the mix and actually try to duck those out using sidechain compression. So the EQ stuff still, relatively speaking, you know, fits in this tutorial, but you can, you know, you've already learned that stuff, so you can apply that, you know, wherever you want. But I'm going to basically zone in on sidechain compression and how to make sure that kick comes through really, really hard and, you know, and get some of those frequencies out that may not be necessarily what you're looking for. So what I've done is on that previous tutorial, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description. I was working with an 808 kick and 808 bass. So that's the original uh, sounds that I had. So what I did was, I'm just going to turn this bass off. So what I, read, what I did was I took the original bass, made three duplicate copies of it. And then I went in and kind of started messing around with the EQ. And I'll show you guys in a second here. So this one called uh, 808 Low, what I did was I rolled everything off. Uh, looks like till about 95 hertz or something like that. And um, so we're gonna. this is the one we're going to play with with the sidechain compression. Um, the other one, which I called 808 mid is basically everything past that. So like, what was that? 114 Hertz or something like that all the way down to this one is about 380 Hertz and then 808 high, which is the rest of the frequency. So like 300 and above, um, again, I've shelved this at about, you know, one K cause you don't need anything past that. But I mean, you could essentially turn that off if you wanted to, but you know, I'm going to leave that on. And the idea is, is to not change the energy or the flow of the mix, but just play with some frequencies that you think may be hitting too hard. Again, you know, as I mentioned before. And the other thing that I can do here now, which is kind of cool, because I've separated the frequencies, you can play around with um, their panning, um, their stereo width, um, because when you have just the one track, you're kind of limited. See, if I were to put a sidechain compression on this just original bass track right here, it's going to duck all the frequencies. So every time that kick hits, you're going to, you know, you're going to feel it as well energy wise because the bass is going to duck a little bit. So this way you get away with it. Right. And the other thing I can do here is like, for example, on this one here on the high, I can play around with the, uh, the stereo width. And I made this one, you know, a little bit wider in the mix mid, you know, a little bit less. And then I left the bottom, uh, where it was originally, which is, you know, right in the middle. So you can kind of play with the, with the uh, frequency. So I'm going to actually play this again with the with the uh, width on and notice, see if you can notice the difference so i'm going to turn some of these widths off on the high one first we here Just notice how that kind of widens out a bit let's go to the mid one turn that one off turn it back on Now the problem is because I did that, it's kind of made the the bass really, really big, bigger than I actually want it. But we can play around with the feel because what I've done here now on the 808 low, I've got a compressor on it. And um, when you actually turn the compressor on, it's kind of like that. You just click on this arrow and it expands it out. I'm going to click on the side chain, click on the side chain, and then I'm going to select the kick from the drop down. I'm just going to compress it on and you know, I'm just going to play with the threshold to where you know it sounds nice to me where the kick's still getting through you get that punch and the bass kind of ducks a little bit but you still get that feel okay so let's play this now I'm actually going to play around the threshold you know do it like totally down and you'll hear the hear the ducking what I mean So you can hear the bottom end, you just absolutely lose it when you play with the threshold. So I'm gonna leave that back somewhere in here. So, I mean, I think that sounds really, really good. The, the kick is coming in nice and hard. You still get that energy, you still get that flow, but you don't have necessarily a lot of that massive bottom that you don't need. So I'm gonna play this one more time and I'm gonna flick the side chain on and off so you can hear the difference. So this is with the side chain in. it off I 
I mean, I think that sounds pretty good. And then what I did was I took all these tracks and I bust it and, uh, it, or sorry, put it in a group. And in the group, I just, you know, I had that saturator plugin. You, you'll know about the saturator plugin from the previous, um, tutorial, but, uh, that gives it nice distortion. So you still get that sound that you're looking for, but it's not so heavy. So I'm going to turn this one off again. That's with it on. Let's turn it off. And there you guys have it. Um, like I said, this is a very, very good technique. Home in on those frequencies that you don't want. Duck it out with whatever you know, whatever instrument or kick, whatever it is that you want to you know get rid of it with. And you're gonna have a very, very nice tight mix with great bottom. Still, you get that energy and you get that awesome flow for you know for trap or hip hop music. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. That way, stay up to date with the latest, greatest information, and you get notified when new tutorials come up. My name is DJ Ruminus. Peace out.